Hello everyone, in this video we'll be building a video calling application with Spelt Kit and Zigo Cloud. Zigo Cloud is simply a cloud-based communication platform that provides real-time audio and video capabilities and solutions for various types of applications. So this is the documentation. You might find it a little bit hard to find here, so I'll put this in the link for you. So you can also read through these. They have multiple types of applications you can build with them. But one we'll be building will be the video calling application. So we'd we'll click here to find out more. So yeah, we have their video call documentation, but yeah, they will be using their SDK. We won't be using the SDK, we'd we'll be using the UI kit. So I'll just move over to this side and I'll go to call kit right here. And this documentation is in Java and I want it to be for the web. So I'll click on web here. I'm using Svelte Kit. And yeah, we'll have an overview of how it works. Very easy, very simple on how to integrate it. But you can read through this. I've already read through this for you so you don't have to. Basically, what you want to do is to install their package. And you can use whatever package manager you want. NPM, YAN, BORN, PNPM. And then you can easily just integrate it once you have your API key and your secret key. And I'll show you how to set those up as well. So all we need is basically this. This is all the code we need. And as you can see, we have React, we have Next, we have Angular, we have Vue. There is no Svelte, no Svelte Kit, but don't worry about that. Zigo Cloud integrates seamlessly with Svelte and Svelte Kit. So there's no issue there. If you're having issues making it work, I'll show you today how to do it. It's very easy. So what we're going to do now is to get our um, app ID and our secret key. So we're going to have to sign up for Zigo Cloud. So yeah, you're just going to have to fill in some necessary information like your first name, last name, country, I'm in Nigeria, so your work email, and now you want to get the verification code, I'll just click on get code. Now we have a little puzzle to solve and I'll just make sure I solve that real quick. Now that I have successfully solved the puzzle, the code will be sent to my email address. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is go to my inbox, I'll get the code and then I'll be right back. Now that I've gotten my code, I will just paste it right here and let me just make sure I select my country. Seems like I didn't actually select it last time. And yeah, now I'll put in my password and make sure you follow the uh, verification or validation rules that is set there. And after that, I'll just click on this last checkbox that I have read and agreed to the Zero Cloud's term and services. And I'll click on the uh, Start Your Free Trial button. Now I've been redirected to my console and you see that a uh, model would pop up and asking us to fill in some other necessary informations. So we have the company name. I'll just put in my name there and we can leave the company website. It's not required for the job title. I'll go with individual developer, the industry. I'll go with IT technology and services for the number. I'll just put in my number there, but first of all, And I'll click on continue. And as you can see, we've gotten some few benefits. We have 10,000 minutes for free and also an advanced support plan for a period of time. So we can actually use the 10,000 minutes to test and actually build out our applications. So that's very nice. I'll go to the dashboard now. What I will do next is actually create my first project. So I'll click on this button here. I'll go for the voice and video call, scroll down and I'll click next. Now for the project name, I'll go with felt kit video call app, which is a long name. And it us it must be between 20. So that is actually longer than it wants. So I'll go with felt kit video call. And 
I'll click on the start with UI kits button. And now it's actually creating the application. So let's give it a second for it to complete. Now that that is done, the next thing for us to do is to integrate the Zigo Cloud UI kits with simple customizable code. And we'll go for the web because we are building with Svelte kits. And we are taken to this page with basic configurations. So what I want you to do is to switch over to group core so that we can have multiple participants. And yeah, you can actually tweak this to your liking. I think it's okay. And I'll just save and start to integrate. So as you can see, a demo application is actually running for us. So we can actually play around and test this out, but we won't be doing that. What we'll do is click on the get, the config file, and integrate button. And now uh, here we have our app ID and our server secret right here. This will be the most important keys that we need. So just make sure that we keep this page open. You can come to this page later on, even if you close it, it doesn't really matter. And you can also copy this right now and keep it somewhere. But these are very important keys that you also want to keep secret. So with that, we're actually done with creating the application on the Zico Cloud side of things. Now what we'll be doing next is creating our Svelte Kit application. So what I want you to do now is to head over to your terminal and run this command. So right now I'm in my um, editor's terminal and I'm running this command pnpm create Svelte Athletes Zico Cloud. Zico Cloud will be the name of the application itself. So if you're using npm or born, you just replace the pnpm with whatever manager that you are using. I'll click on enter and a couple of prompts should come up very soon as you can see which sort app templates would go with the skeleton project and it said add type checking with TypeScript let's just go with no and select additional options I like using ESLint prettier and that is okay and as you can see that has been completely set up what we also want to set up next would be Tailwind even though we wouldn't be using Tailwind that much i just like adding it to my applications because of, i might need to do some few customizations here and there so first of all we'd seed into this application so cd um, ziggo cloud and we'll use felt add to add tailwind so we'll just run this command pmpm dlx felt dash add at latest tailwind and if you're using um npm to be mpx felt dash add or born it will be different but with born is with born x i believe but just make sure that you use the correct one for the package manager that you are using. I'll give that a few seconds. Now that I have successfully added and configured the Tailwind, let's run the application. So we would run our dev server with the command pnpm dev. But we would actually get an error if we try this. And the reason for that is we have not actually installed all the dependencies. So that was my bad there. So what we want to do now is run pnpm i to install all of the dependencies in our um, application or in our package JSON file. And once that has installed successfully, we would be able to run pnpm dev. So now that that has successfully downloaded all the dependencies and dev dependencies that we would need, we can run pnpm dev one more time and check it out. So now we should see that it's successfully running on this port. So let's check out this bot in our browser. So if you've not edited anything in the application, you should see exactly this. Welcome to Svelte Kits, blah, blah, blah. All we can do now is go to our SRC routes, plus page just felt, remove both of these, and get rid of all of these, and just write Zigo Cloud. Let's save that. And let's see the way that looks like in the browser. So as you can see, Alt module reload works and we have Zico Cloud. So that tells us that this is working successfully. What we want to do next is actually install the SDK. So I'll copy this here. And that will be from the documentation. And once I've copied that, I'll open my terminal, open a new terminal so I can actually install packages. And I'll just paste that command here. But I'm going to change the um, npm to pnpm. And we don't actually need this save tag anymore. But 
it does not leave in it there so now that that has successfully been installed go to the browser go back to the documentation and we can basically just copy these react um instructions and convert it to svelte very easy so i'm going to leave the import react part out of it and i'll just copy the rest i would also leave the return part out as well back in my editor i'll just close the terminal right here Get rid of this and i'll just paste this wolf in here but i want to wrap them in a script tag i just use this right here and i'll move everything here inside the script tag like this now we're going to make some slight mod modifications here so for the random id function this is just to get a random id we'll leave this the way it is for the get url params the function is self-explanatory it gets the url params and for this export app thing is a react stuff so we don't need it here just get rid of that and the closing curly braces as well make sure that everything is perfect and there is no mistake here so what we want to do is turn this little function here into a action a felt action so as you can see we are having the app id here and it's empty and it's about secret as well is empty as well if you remember um in the dashboard there's a way we can get them so we'll actually get them we'll put it in our env file and then we'll get it right here but for now just leave this as it is let's create an action so i'll call this const meeting is equal to a sync and i'll just pop this whole thing inside here so first of all i'll pop this right here that will be the room id and secondly i want to remove this input that i have here and the reason why i want to remove this is this would actually cause an error if we run this while importing it directly like this reason being that the ziggle cloud is trying to use our document object which on initial rendering would not be available because of hydration we are using a server framework like svelte kit it won't be available so what we're going to have to do is to dynamically import this and the way we do that is very easy so i'll just get rid of this and in this meeting action i'll just above the random id here i'll just dynamically import it like this so it's going to work the same way but prevent us from having that error so what we can do next is just get the rest of everything in here and we'll delete this you don't need this anymore and we'll put it in here save and let's just give this an empty string so everything is proper so the action is actually complete now so, but let's just go through what's actually happening so first of all we are dynamically importing the ziggo cloud ui build pre-built kit and we get the kit token from here and yeah we can actually initialize it right here as you can see we need to get the con the element and the element we get the element from here so just say element like that and we'll get the element we can now personalize it like this so for the shared link we're saying personal link i can just say share link and now i can actually use one on one calls right now we are actually using the group call but we can change it to one on one call if you want to use one on one call and for the div you can come here and we can say use column meeting and that's how we create and use an action in svelte for the class i can give this an height of full and a width of screen save that and the next thing that we're going to have to do is actually get our app id and our server secrets so what you can do is create an env file put it there and then get it in from there but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use it directly so i'm on my console again and i'll just copy my app id go back 
I'll paste it right here. I'll get my server secrets. And I'll do the same thing. Save this. I'm actually going to get one error because of the app ID must be a number and not a string. So I'll get rid of all of that. Like that. Save it. And now let's check this out in the browser. So go back to our development. And as you can see, we have this already running. But you just give this a while and the camera should pop up. As you can see, you can see my face right now. And it's actually pretty small you can style this out to make this larger if you want your preference but we have a name that we can add here so i can just say lawal and we have a link that we can share so i'll copy this link and i'll join first of all and as you can see i'm the only one in this room if i want another person to join this room all i'll do is share that person that link but since i'm the only one here i can just create a new um window and I will paste that link right there. Just try and simulate multiple people joining the same room. And as you can see, the same thing is happening, but on that window. And I can just change the name here to Libola, and I will join. And as you can see, multiple people have joined the application, and the audio is actually running. So I will turn off the audio. Now the microphone is okay. The microphone is on. Now it should sound a little better. <laughs> so that's basically how you use Zigo Cloud. And as you can see, we have this overflow thing going on here. You can fix that very easy with Tailwind if you want. You can customize this. This is just connected to this um, development, so you can use. Tailwind classes, or if you're using native CSS, you can use that as well. So that is basically all of it. This is all the code you need to be able to integrate video calling to your Celtic application. It's extremely wonderful if you ask me. And I would definitely advise you all, if you are building any sort of application like this and you need it in record time, definitely go over to Zigo Cloud and definitely use their 